What's up y'all, I'm Chris, and today I'm gonna to show you how I made this changing table. Originally, my plan was to keep the metal raw and to have a more rustic look and feel. However, my wife said that it had to match our bedroom furniture, and so I ended up having to paint the metal black and also paint the wood with a chalk paint to match the rest of our furniture. I decided to test out my angles with a little piece of wood and then I moved on to cutting them all out of uh, metal. Then I moved on to sanding. Uh, here all I'm trying to do is knock off the burrs and make sure that it's ready to be welded. And as you can see it is kind of tedious to do that so I'll spare you the gory details and just show you a fun time lapse of it. Next, I decided to make sure everything fit together properly. Uh, so I did a dry fit just to make sure that all of my angles were correct and to make sure that it would go together smoothly. Next, you'll see all I'm doing is doing quick tack welds uh, just to hold things in place. Uh, the first fitment showed that everything was fitting, so now it's just on to tack welding and then welding everything solid. Now that everything is welded together, you can see that I have started making preparations to cut all of the wood parts out. First, I started with a circ saw so that I could cut it down into a more manageable size for my table saw. And all I was doing here is just cutting everything down to length. And basically, I'm doing a lot of repeat cuts uh, because it's going to have three symmetrical boxes. Next, I started doing pocket holes. Uh, that way I could joint these well and make sure that they were good, sturdy uh, connection points while also gluing them together. And then I did a test fit just to make sure that everything would line up. Next you'll see that I'm going and I'm filling in all of the pocket holes with plugs. Once I got all the plugs filled, I went through and I started sanding them down to make them flush. Uh, I did let the glue dry for a while, so just be mindful of that. Don't try to start sanding too soon, or you can pull the actual plugs out and then you have to go through the process of resetting them. Now you'll see that I'm using a 1 16th roundover bit just to kind of take the harsh edge off of each of the tables going inside and outside. Uh, that way there's no harsh edges since this will be a changing table and there will be small fingers in the area and I don't want them to get splinters or cut or anything like that. Once all the sanding and the routing was completed, I moved on to finishing up the legs. Now, what I had left to do with the legs is to make basically a bracket that would allow me to connect it from the leg to the actual tabletops. 
So what I like to do is take a couple of pieces of flat steel and I weld them together and then make all my cuts. That way I know that they're all symmetrical. Next, I went through and just tack welded and then fully welded each of those tabs on. I tried to make sure that they were flush and square. So now that the legs are complete, I went ahead and moved on to completing the actual top pieces. Uh, I had let the glue dry, made sure that they're fully sanded and let all the plugs dry before I moved on to the next step, which was painting them. This is my first time to ever use chalk paint, uh, but again, I needed to use chalk paint so that it would match the rest of the furniture in my bedroom. With chalk paint, it's relatively easy. Uh, as you can see, you literally just brush it on, uh, but the more difficult part is the waxing. So what you need to do is make sure that you're applying it in a circular motion and then also buff it after that in a circular motion to give it a nice finished feel and that way uh, it's fully sealed. Now you see the final step and that is piloting holes into the wood and putting screws in to hold the legs to the top pieces. Here's the finished product. I hope you all enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.